Welcome to the Shackin' First Monday Morning Minute. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Shatkin. Today we're going to be placing 10 implants on Robert's upper jaw. Uh, we already completed his lower with a zirconia cemented roundhouse. On the top we're going to be doing a Xantex Allure restoration to give him a little bit of lip fullness and to get rid of his upper denture. Uh, so we are going to place 10 implants on top. Uh, we're going to use 8 11 by 2.5s and 2 10 by 2.5 Shatkin First mini implants. We'll get started. We're going to use short implants because he's got a low hanging sinus, so 2511s and 2510s. So we'll use uh, 811s and probably 210s. Okay? I don't think we have room for 12, but we're going to do 10 implants. Uh, let me have a marking pen. Thank you, Sonny. Okay. So I'm going to dry this here, and we're going to mark the locations of the implants. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay, so we'll start with the two 511s. This is Dr. Spencer. He's one of our amazing residents here at the NYU Langone accredited residency program. And he's got about two months left and he'll be finishing up here. Along with our other great residents. So Spencer was nice enough to get our patient numb. We're gonna go ahead and start our implants. little trick, if you place a few holes at the same time, you can keep your handpiece in the same parallel position to parallel the implants. Sometimes if you do one at a time, it gets a little harder to parallel. So we're going to go ahead and put the first one in. Of course, we like that sound. That's a good sound. Next one. First implants in, Robert. You're doing great. So that sound means we've reached 30 newton centimeters of torque which is the minimal amount of torque you want to load these mini implants immediately. Next implant. That's my last patient. And what are they? Uh, An NP. And uh, that just uh, looks like an implant on the 31. And not an NP, I was mistaken. On the other one, that's for Dr. Spencer. It says the same. Okay, holes. I'll take a, an 11 and a 10. I've got two of my wonderful assistants helping me today, Sonny and Katie. Sonny's been with us like, what, 10 11. years, 11 years? Katie, how long have you been working here? Five. Five? Yeah. Five going on 10. You're not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, this is a 10 millimeter, right? Yes, that is. All right, we're using the shorter one in the back because his sinus has come down. Okay. 
Okay, five implants in. Now we'll do the other side. And we're going to do a Zantac Allure restoration, I think, on the upper here. Very, because he's, he's got to have some lip fullness. You doing okay, Robert? All right, thumbs up. Okay, almost reached 60 Newton centimeters on that one. Bone is doing good. Those are good sounds, Robert. That means the bone's nice and solid. Ten. Okay, got a little bit of a beep right at the end. Okay, we got 10 implants in. Doing great. <coughs> All right, uh, let me just see. Let me just take a look at something here. Yeah, there's no bone back there. All right, good. We'll take a bite. So this is my cotton roll bite. What I do is I put two cotton rolls, have bite together, not too hard, open. Relax your jaw and just bite gently. Okay, hold it right there. Right there, don't move. Can you hold it right there? Mm -hmm. Bite a little tighter, hold it right there. Right there, hold it, squeeze a little bit. Okay, right there. Really still. Hold it right there, don't move. Two cotton rolls tends to be pretty darn close and helps you get a good bite. Keep biting right there, okay? Keep biting. One minute, stay still. Keep biting. That should, that should be good. You can reline that with the uh, futar. Sure. All right, so. Uh, and then we'll do a final impression. Yep. Yeah. We invite you to join us May 31st and June 1st at the Stein Erickson Resort and Spa in Park City, Utah for the International Academy of Mini Dental Implants Annual Meeting. Give us a call to sign up today.